Commercial Vehicle Compliance has put together this guide to assist bodybuilders, modifiers, and owners when fitting tipper bodies. This is not intended to be a how to manufacture, but a guide for the requirements when certification is required from an approved vehicle examiner. Other modification criteria not found in the Vehicle Manufacturer's Manual is covered in the Australian Standards, VSB 6, and ADRs. A pre-modification waybridge is necessary. It is important to have the correct axle load distribution to maximize the payload of the tipper body. Take the vehicle to a public waybridge, and obtain a cab chassis split curb weight, before starting the modifications. This is needed for the calculations and to provide the best results. We highly recommend calculating the effect of the body positioning, on the axle load. The desired tipper body dimension, will have an adverse effect on the axle load, if the position is not optimized. Tip, we can provide you your axle load calculation as an additional service if needed. Tipper body dimensions, and positioning, shall not make the total vehicle dimensions, go beyond 2500 mm. This is from extreme width, and includes handles to hinges and tarp systems etc. Overall height of 4300 mm. Rear overhang within 3700 mm, or 60% of the wheelbase, whichever is lesser. Tippers are exposed to significant high stress, and torsional loading. Therefore, a suitably constructed subframe, must be fitted to the vehicle. This subframe, must be full length, without any joins, follow the contour of the chassis, and extend as far forward behind the cab as possible. In addition, all OEMs will require some form of tapering at the start of the subframe. This can be found in the OEM's body builder's guidelines. Tapering of the subframe, is designed to provide a progressive transfer of loading, and reduce stress on the chassis rail. Make sure that the hoist mounting design, could withstand the maximum loading, and torsional moment force. Most manufacturers will reinforce the hoist cross member, with internal stiffening ribs for additional strength. Ensure all hydraulic hoists contain burst protection, that will in the event of hose rupture, or pipe fracture, prevent the movement of the hydraulic cylinders. Restrain the forward section of the tipping body, across the vehicle using suitable guides. These can be either uprights welded to the subframe, or in the case of aluminum tippers, body polyps as pictured. Ensure hoist systems also include an independent mechanism to retain the hoist, in the raised position in accordance with, and meeting the requirements of AS 1418.8. Mount the tipping pivot, in which it will evenly distribute the loads into the chassis. Avoid drilling a hole on the top flange of the chassis rail. Mounting the tipping pivot with the mounting plate is recommended. Note, take into consideration the rear lights, ADR 13, and wheel guards, ADR 42. These requirements are often non-compliant or incomplete. Call the office on 03-9005-6256 to book an inspection for your tipper today.